Today on TriPro Studios, we take a look at the EHX Nano Dr. Q Envelope Follower. So looking at the knob and switch of this pedal, which is quite simple, we have first our base switch to engage it, bring it in the up position to disengage it in the down position. When it's in the up position, you're going to allow, with the effect that this pedal produces, the bass frequencies to come out in your signal. When you put it in the down position, you're just going to get the actual filter effect, which will give you a much more quackier sound. Moving on now to the range, this is going to allow you to really change the filter frequency, and you can go from absolutely nothing to some pretty high end uh, filter effects. So let's listen to what this pedal sounds like in the various positions engaging and disengaging the bass switch. So one very important thing I need to stress about this pedal is input. The harder you play or the type of pickups, if you have single coils or humbuckers, the input going into this is drastically going to change the sound of this pedal. You can have 15 different guitar players plug into this pedal with the same rig and depending on the picking attack, how hard you play, how soft you play, or the actual input volume going into this, depending on where you dial your volume in, you're going to change the actual filter effect. So right now I'm going to show you that with a guitar that has a volume boost on it, how much the sound drastically changes. So last but not least, I want to show you how important placement is with this pedal when it comes to using dirt pedals or distortion pedals. With 
this pedal, depending on where you place it, like any other wall, you can have a more sharper auto wall style effect, or you can have a more vowelistic auto wall style effect. So here is a sample of showing this pedal with the SD1 before and after, just to show you the difference that this effect can make. <laughs> So this concludes my review of the EHX Nano Dr. Q envelope follower. Definitely a great envelope Ottawa style of effect for anybody that wants to really get into it. It's not too complicated. Like I said, if you just are conscious about what's going into the input of this pedal, uh, you're going to be able to control it a lot more and make it do exactly what you want it to do. Uh, if you're going from a Strat style guitar to a humbucker style guitar or one pickup in one guitar is a lot harder than the other one. You're going to have to dial a little bit either your volume back or move your range setting to really compensate for that. Or you can have a boost pedal in front of it just for the low input signals that are going into it if you need to get that vowel style of effect or more of a range with this pedal. So hope I've been able to help you distinguish if this is the pedal that's right for you or not. If you like this video, hit like, please subscribe, and I hope to hear from you soon.